What's up everyone, welcome to another video, I'm Thinking The Man and today we're gonna speak a little about the new cards, how worth they are and with this said, I'm gonna base my opinion on the benchmarks from J2Sense, Linus Tech Tips and Gamers Nexus. I don't have any RTX card, I have a 1080 i and I'm probably happy with it but I'll give you my opinion in a gamer's perspective, okay, based on that charts so yeah, anyways, let's take a look at the charts So, now that you saw the shards, what is the conclusion to take from this new card? It's pretty obvious that today we have a new King of the Castle. The 2080 Ti is definitely the best card, the fastest card. The card can run almost all games at 60 FPS, 4K, but that doesn't mean you should go and buy it right now. Because if you compare to the previous gen, you know, the 1080 Ti, the price is almost the double. For something that it's right now at this point, it's not even working. So if you want to go and grab that card, make sure you know that right now I don't have any benchmark showing you the performance of ray tracing. So it seems a bit unjustified to go and buy that card for almost to double the price of the 1080 Ti when it was launched. I mean, it could be game changer, but right now it seems to be a little rushed and pointless. Moving on to the 2080, you can expect almost the same performance as the 1080 Ti, but keep in mind that in the future, probably with new drivers, the card will be a little faster than the 1080 Ti, but I don't believe that will be that much. But if you have to buy it today, it's almost the same story. You are buying something that is overpriced and you can't take any advantage from the new ray tracing technology. So, where do we stand at this point? It's complicated and I'm a little disappointed with this. I expect the new RTX card to perform better than the previous generation and in most cases they didn't. The 2080 Ti did its job but not enough in my opinion and the 2080 is performing the same as a 1080 Ti so once again Nvidia is doing the same thing. And since they made such a crazy white train about ray tracing, what is it? Reviews didn't have the chance to test it in time, in the, you know, today, so it's still a bit confusing for me to recommend you something that is overpriced and at the same time lacks a lot of feature that Nvidia promised and didn't deliver. Should you buy it? Of course no. You have to wait. Wait to see if ray tracing is definitely something and is definitely something that will change the gaming world, the gaming community, but until you don't have any information, any benchmark, any FPS, you know, anything that you can, you know, take some information from that, you definitely should wait and see if ray tracing is definitely something to go for. So, with this video, I hope I could clarify you and help you at the same time deciding what you should do in the future if you are buying a car. I hope with this video I could help you. If I help, hit the like button, maybe consider to subscribe and help the channel. You know, follow me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram. I'm Taking The Man and as always, I see you on the next one.